Hey guys, it's Liddy here from Creator Studios, and today I'm going to be doing a review on some of Tesla's purple PLA filament. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so first off, what I want to say is I've had this filament for a while now. Tesla sent this filament to me um, with the PETG and the aluminum filament. Uh, but I just haven't been able to get to doing a review for this and um, I've been regretting not doing the review because I really want to print with this filament. So today we're just going to be checking out how well this prints and what it's like. So on the box here it just gives you information about the filament, uh, what kind of filament it is, PLA, the diameter 1.75, the color, this says dark purple, the weight 1 kilogram, and then the temperature uh, 200 celsius or up and again this is made in israel uh, i am a really big fan of tesla's filament i really love it i love their petg and um a late update the metal pla filament uh, i did get to print really nicely it was just my fault um the retraction settings were different and i needed to change some settings so just an update on that um Again, go buy their filament. That stuff is awesome. I really love printing with it. So back to this filament. Uh, again, it's just in this plain box, and there's a little hole to see what color it is. Opening it up, there is just, again, the half aluminum color-like uh, bag, and then the other half clear. And this is the kind of, these are like my favorite spools just because of the texture or design on it. There are other spools. Um, are just plain, but they did send me um, a box of, I think it was four um, used spools for packaging, which was kind of weird. I didn't expect that, but I got four extra spools, which I can do who knows what with. So it's just a Ziploc bag, and so I just ripped off the top, and then opening it, Tesla's spools are really big. This is an amazing color. For filament, I've never printed with an actual purple color filament. You guys know I did a review on Unico Phil's uh, blue violet filament, but this is a really nice color and I'm already loving it. Uh, their spools are a solid spool, They're, they don't click together or anything. Um, they only have uh, two pieces or two sides for two holes for your filament to hook in, which I don't really like that because then you can see it just folds the filament, then you have to cut that off. But the winding of the spool is really tight. Um, a, it's a little bit wobbly, the filament, but you know, it's not as bad as the uh, gold filament that I'm printing with right now, but that, it prints fine, doesn't matter. Just because it is a little wobbly doesn't mean it prints wrong. Um, but this looks really nice. It's a nice smooth matte filament. It's got a little shine to it. Uh, I really do. I really like this color and I, I'm excited to print with it. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm going to be printing. I haven't printed a lot of useful things, so maybe I'll do some useful things for maybe the shower or something. But I just want to let you guys know that I am using the gold filament. Over here, I'm printing a car for my TSA project. I upped the scale, so I had to split it in half, and the spool, you can't see, because you can't see the top of the spools, but the spool is basically almost gone, so I am using that filament still. Uh, I don't just ask for filament to just do a review on. I use the filament, and hopefully I'll be giving you guys more updates on filaments I have re reviewed. I do love each and every one of these filaments, uh, I use them almost every day, so I actually might do a bionic arm on this with my glow-in-the-dark filament. I'm not really sure yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. So let's hop on the printer and check out some cool prints. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, I know this video is a little late, uh, and as you can see, I finally got the TiVo Tornado. Uh, this review for this printer will be coming out next week, I believe. Um, I did have a lot of struggling with this filament. Now, it wasn't the filament's problem. It was my TiVo tarantula's problem. It is broken right now. So I am printing some more things on the Tornado uh, to get this review finished. But I do have a lot of prints. I have printed a lot, but most of them are fail prints, and a couple are complete 
uh, good prints that uh, represent the filament and most of the messed up prints were because of the printer nothing had to do with the filament so I will be printing a lot more on the tornado with this filament and then we will check those prints out. so let's just check out what the prints look like alright guys so the first print was this little um, fire truck now this fire truck should have been able to move but because of my printer um, the wheels didn't print right and I couldn't get the retraction settings correct so it's very stringy but um, overall I really like the look of this print even though it had a lot of stringing the filament printed really nicely next we have my new maker coin now this um, should have another piece in the middle here but that piece did not print correctly and I printed this print let's see four three times so um, they all failed because you can see there's a lot of under extrusion here and uh, bad printing basically and that was because of my printer it had a lot of under extrusion I don't really know what's a problem so I'm getting some new nozzles for that and I did print my original um, maker coin this was actually the first print that I printed I believe it still had a lot of under extrusion under here the supports didn't do very well now I'm not sure if that is the filament or the printer but it didn't print the best but this is probably the best maker coin out of the rest now as you guys know in my previous video I designed this torture test kind of plate and I printed this one first but uh, again you can see it's really bad adhesion um, the overhangs did actually pretty well and the points did okay but again the print quality looks very bad the overhangs you can't really tell what's good and what's bad because of the printer and then I decided to scale up the size and everything just dis was destroyed this broke off here yeah, again this was all the printers problem so I am reprinting all of it on the TiVo Tornado but um, this is just what I first got when I started printing with this filament. Next we have this bottle and this bottle um, unfortunately doesn't screw and doesn't look the best. The, it doesn't screw because as you can see they're not really complete circles. There's a lot of under extrusion here and also over here and then for some reason there is this weird line stuff on the bottle the retraction settings still weren't the best but I did as best as I could for printing with it then but um, there's a lot of clogging and stuff inside also so the first print I did on the tornado which you guys will see in the tornado review is this benching now this was with the same filament and it looks great actually besides the salmon skin I'm trying to get that fixed with some smoothers but uh, it did pretty well better than the rest of the prints for some reason I'm not sure if this is the printer or the filament but there's a lot of discoloration like different colors I'm not really sure if the color is consistent in the filament but um, let me know down in the description below if you guys ordered this filament and um, if your color was consistent or not okay so the biggest print I printed was this um, canteen which is the miniature version of this or larger version of this one and uh, I printed this on the tornado which printed successfully and it can definitely screw together it doesn't keep water very well um, it has a little bit of dripping down here when I filled it up again there was some salmon skin but that's completely fine with this print also the first layer went down great um, you can kind of see its discoloration because there's probably still some water in there for when I filled it up but again there's lots of discoloration here like this is darker than light dark whatever so I don't really know if that is the filament or just the temperature but it is everywhere on this I think it looks kinda cool but if you don't like that um, I'm not really sure how to fix it the cap turned out great the retraction settings on this worked um, it was printed like this and so it worked successfully no stringing and overall I think this print turned out really amazing alright so the final maker coin that I got to print on the TO tornado uh, was this now this printed without supports just because there are so many small um, areas down here just be a little difficult to remove the supports. but overall this turned out pretty nice actually 
The bed adhesion was great. As you can see, it's really smooth and matte. Um, these curves right here look super great. And um, there was just a little bit of salmon skin again here. But it doesn't show that bad. But overall, I really like this. For some reason, there was a string in here. Uh, not really sure if that was the printer or the filament or something. But there was a little bit of under extrusion, as you can see here. Um, I did have my multiplier uh, extrusion multiplier correct, so I don't know what that problem was. Um, I printed this at 200 degrees, I believe, with 65 degrees Celsius. So I actually think this turned out pretty nice. So the final print with this purple PLA was this bionic hand. Now this is a really tiny one. It like fits in my palm, basically. Uh, I think this is super cool. This was uh, the second, or actually the third bionic hand I built. But this one actually works like this. Um, I still have to add a little mesh thing up here for the hand part to fit in here and stay secure. But overall, this turned out really nice. I did all the stringing um, and the elastic bands and everything. And um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to be sending these off to a camp. And then they give these to kids to bring to camp and use, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I'm going to be printing a lot of these. As you can see over here, there's some uh, filamentum PLA that they sent me once again that I'm going to be printing a lot of these hands in. So, um, yeah, that is it for the prints. All right, guys, so that wraps up all of the prints with this filament. Once again, I'm um, sorry that this video is up delayed. I've been working hard on this printer over here, and I've had a TSA um, state conference and that was a big thing and I had to do my project for that so that is why I haven't had, had a video up for about two weeks now I do apologize for that but hopefully I will start uploading a lot more now and again this bionic arm will be sent off um, to kids and I will be building bigger ones for adults to use um, who have lost their limbs and I really like doing this for people and building these arms I had a lot of fun and I will definitely be making a video about making a lot of these. So again, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below. We are growing. We are almost um, up to 1,200 subscribers and I'm super excited. Now, the only thing we have to do is get to 4,000 watch hours. I have about 414 watch hours and to get to that 400 or 4,000 watch hours, I'm going to be having to make longer videos, but you guys have to stick around and watch the entire video. I really do appreciate it when all of you stick around and watch the entire video. Um, it helps me grow, and then I can become bigger and better on YouTube. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.